One in five teenagers and one in ten American adults are scared of snakes. Thrill seekers are attracted to many things and snakes were my magnet. Catching these creatures helped me understand them. Snakes were quick, it was a challenge. And now, I don't catch snakes anymore. It is a highly venomous snake, so being the most venomous in North America, you don't want to get bit by this. And I'm not that close to the hospital, really. One in five children are scared of snakes. This, my friends, is one of the fastest snake species in North America. This is the black. In an snake. article published by the National Geographic Society, biologist Rich Siegel, almost one in four of the snakes he collected in his studies were killed by vehicular traffic. And it's estimated that tens to hundreds of millions of snakes have been killed by automobiles in the United States alone. It's disheartening to hear the numbers, but it puts a smile on my face when I have the opportunity to save one's life. This yellow rat snake was just about as long as a third of the whole length of the road. Probably five and a quarter feet long. There's no need for me to capture this snake for the camera because I've done that several times in the past. Honestly, I think it's tragic that we have to capture almost every snake that we see as a biologist or wildlife photographer or filmmaker. And typically, I haven't really acted that way in my own filmmaking. If you really pay attention, you'll notice that in about 90% of the videos I film, I'm relocating animals because they're in an area where they're going to be disturbed or possibly killed. I will capture animals to make that exception. However, I don't have to go out of my way to encounter some of the most dangerous animals in Florida. They just seem to come to me. And if you talk to anybody in Florida, the stories go on and on about a dead one. They killed one, they knew someone who killed one, they saw a dead one. And that breaks my heart. That right there is why I take the effort to film and try to pass on as much education about the scary animals in Florida so that way we don't lose them all like we did with so many other animals that had the potential to cause harm. If you have trouble understanding this, you should look into what happened to Yellowstone after all the wolves were eradicated and then what amazing things took place when they were reintroduced. Predator and prey relationships are extremely important for the health of any environment and ecosystem. And unfortunately, because I'm one as well, we are an unnatural predator in our ecosystem, so we really have to tread lightly to not disturb these ecosystems. I don't know that I can say it any better, but that's why I don't catch snakes anymore.